Welcome back, everybody, to Instruments of Destruction. Arcane Infinity. Now, today we're going to be doing something I'm going to be calling Displays of Destruction, and where we're going to be reviewing, you know, three to five creations, testing out their movement, their destructibility, and uh, how fun they are. Plus, we'll probably take a look at a couple of uh, creations of mine. So, now the first one we're going to check out is this one right here. Now, this one's called Centipede. It was uh, featured right there in the shop and workshop, so we're going to take a look at it and see what it does. Now, I also play with my controller, so, and the game supports that, which is pretty cool. So, we have to do a little bit of 2-0. Oh. Okay. That's just left and right. And then we get our gas. Oh, and forward and back. Okay. Well, let's, let's, let's get a better view here. That's as far back as we can go. Oh, I have to change a view. Well, let's... Uh, uh. Well, she has pretty good movement. And, um, well, yeah, it's a centipede, so destruction is a thing it does. Oh, wait, what about the ones on the back? I guess the, the pincers on the back just stay open. And then you're... I like this. I like this a lot. Let's just do it again. Chomp, 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 chomp. Oh, you do not want the centipede coming through. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, yep, yep. I gotta say, first one out the gate, first one out the gate, um, yeah. I'd say this was pretty fun. Controls, pretty good. The m movement is really nice. I mean, you could just swing like this and destroy things. Oh, if you don't get caught. Oh, it doesn't stay caught. So, yeah. It's a working centipede that does what a destruction centipede does. I'd say, you know, let's say a scale of one to... A one to ten... I'd give this like a, a 8.5. Maybe it, maybe, maybe it were hell. This. You know, the centipede set the pretty high bar. We're going to have to say this is probably like a 9. It's almost perfect. Only thing I would add would be um, boost. I'd put boost on it so we can speed them up a bit. But other than that, this thing is actually perfect. Oh man. All right. Now, Centipede was made by, what is it? Ray Tutsumi STR. All right. So, yeah, I'll put a link in the description for, for uh, all the ones we have in there. So, Centipede. Moving on to our next one. I'm not sure if I can find it. It's Iron Crown by Juicy. And it's a flying vehicle. Now, I'll tell you now, I am not really good with flying vehicles. They, um, they escape me. Now, I think he said keep hitting forward until uh, she gets height. Is it G or C? There we go. Oh, well, okay. Let's try this again. Okay, we'll see how the iron crown goes. All right, you press G to keep yourself floating. Oh. All right, we're up. We're up. Oh, up and down, left and right. Okay. Controls are pretty good. G and F will keep you going. Let's see, we have W, A, D, S. 
is and I guess we just fly right into the buildings ourselves a little bit. Alright, we're gonna try this again. Okay, here we go again. With the Iron Crown, we're gonna try this one more time. So, spawn yourself in there, hit G to get yourself going, and hit up so you're flying. Alright, stabilize yourself with up and down arrows. And it has the regular controls moving forward and back. Now, for what it says in description, you know, we're supposed to bespow, just bespow honor upon the buildings because they've, they've done their job and their honorable job. And so we must bestow the buildings with the crown. It's now I got to say the movement I would have to give like a four at best a five. But uh, like I said, I'm not good at flying. So maybe other people can fly better let me know in the comments if you guys flew this thing better there's gonna be links in the description let's drop the hammer on this thing destruction now destruction it's I I don't know how, how do you rate destruction that's that's precise but a bit difficult to do but it is very satisfying when you do it we just just a little off the top and it does it does actually lag a bit because there's so much stuff going on but this is pretty good destruction I, I, I have to give it like a six or seven on, on destruction like I said, the movement is pretty difficult but it's very inventive and I'd have to give 10 on the overall construction of the thing oh my god I mean if you pay attention to what's going on, you literally are like a, a hovering helicopter here. Let's see if we can get some precise controls here. See, the thing is, yeah, you, you, you wouldn't be able to chase anything down. It's more like a line up and drop it in. It's an iron crown. Pretty good. Pretty good. Right, let's let's see what next we have on the docket here. Alright, the next one we have here is by Jet Jake22 and it's called Super Smack. The Super Smack by Jet Jake22. Let's see. There we go. So we have our controls, we have up and down. Ah, oh, you can make a fist, it looks like. Alright, fist with the direction pads. T and R. Oh, okay, that T stabilizes us. And R gets us stabilized in the back. E and Q. Alright, I'm guessing E is going to be... Oh, ho. Ooh, so what's Q? Whoa, what, what's... Okay. Well, I'm guessing that the W A A. Yeah. So. All right. Let's press T. Kill that. Let's press R. Um. Hmm. We'll open our fist up. I guess we can't. Um. Hmm. How do we? All right, now come back. I guess it has one, one action and one action only. Smack and get it done. So let's uh, let's see. Movement. Movement's about a, about a six or seven. It's pretty good. I mean, I mean, if you're gonna pull the smack down, yeah, movement. I'd, I'd say let's change that. That movement's about an eight. It's pretty fast. 
it's for such a long, you know. Oh, wow. What's, what, what makes it? Hmm. I wonder if it naturally does that. I don't know, was I pressing the button that made it do that? I guess I was. Alright, we're gonna have to line ourselves up for the smack here. Alright, we're lining ourselves up for the smack. Oh, 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 stop rolling. Alright, so if I remember, T stabilizes us and R stabilizes us. And then I guess E brings down the smack. Well, well let's, let's, make, let's make a fist. And. Oh! 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 Okay! Alright, we're gonna have to do that again. We're gonna do it again. I I I I I like how he, he uh kinda puts his back into it as it were. Oh I didn't notice this. Look at that. This guy put a cable connecting the steering on both of the tank treads. I guess that to keep you from going squirrely. Alright. TNR stabilize ourselves. And then we just bring the smack down here. Let's get a good look at the smack. Ah! We missed it! We missed it! We've got to see another smack. So let's go forward. We're gonna. I think we understand the controls now. Fun, I would put up there. Uh, I would put it high up there on the fun level. It's about a good nine when it comes to the fun. CNR, stabilize yourself. <laughs> and we're gonna hope. I want a good look. Bring the smack down! Oh! You know, the destruction, we've gotta put that at like an 8.5. Very precise. And everything is destroyed. And you see, he puts us back into it when you do it. Throw down the stabilizers, kick the wheels out. It's all about putting that smack down, man. Now, this next one's called The Storm by The Twisty Master. I love it how it comes in. That's nice. Just beam it away. Oh, okay. The Storm by The Twisty Master. Whoa. 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 Uh, uh. Um, okay, I, I, I do not know what's going on here. Um, um. Okay. It was a storm. Well, the description reads, similar to the previous box of destruction, wait 20 seconds for the storm mode to start. Well, for the, wait 20 seconds for the start storm, storm mode. <laughs> when the storm mode, when in storm mode, you will hear a loud ringing noise and it will start destroying things. So it doesn't seem as though we have to do anything. And um, we'll try it one more time. Whoa. Okay. Um, there are no controls from what I can see. It took out the pillar. Now, I'm gonna have to put it as zero on movement. Um, maybe like a two on destruction. I mean, it didn't really destroy much. 
I'm not sure how to control it. I mean, I give them props on creating something that is glitched out like crazy. Oh my. Wow. 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 Okay. You know, um. Yeah, um. I, I don't know about the storm. To be quite honest with you, I'm not particularly, you know. So, I don't know. I'll I'll I'll, I'll say uh, be careful with the storm. It is really loud. I made sure to cut the sound down in post so it didn't kill you guys. But um, yeah, uh, I don't know. Well. Let's move on to a couple of uh, my builds here, just to end this off here. I just want to take a quick, just a quick look at a few items that I've been working with here. Now, here we have uh, the swordman. Now, funny enough, I was uh, like, like I like to do, I was playing instruments of destruction and just you know watching YouTube videos as, as people do and uh, while I'm making my sword dude here I'm trying to and I'm still working on him I want to make this guy have two swords and swing him and kill him someone did a um, you may know did a guy with nunchucks and I was like what do you know and I'm making a guy with swords but this is gonna be a tough one because because I can't get it to swing like I want I can't get it naturally and even if I say pull up the controller and try the controller it's 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 a work in progress it's the sword man is just not there yet but now this one here is called uh, well, it took me a couple times to get it right, but it's the, the Tallywhacker 8.5. And well, this one right here is all about pure destruction, driving right up to the enemy and uh, destroying them. Let's let's get our cameras fixed here properly. All right, we have simple controls. And it's, it's a very simple machine that's made to drive straight through buildings, as, as you'll see. It just goes straight through the building. Now, I wanted to make a small, very minimalist vehicle that could do a lots of destruction. And, yeah, the TW just does it. I, I will say that we are going to need to increase the weight of this. I mean, as it stands, it's it's pretty light. So that's what stops it from driving straight through the buildings at full speed, even with the boost on. So this is one we're definitely going to have to work with, build on. But it's one of my first ones. They're very intuitive. Other than that, yeah, the TW 8.5. So I guess the next will be the TW 9. Maybe the TW 10 will be the finished one product. It'll be perfect. I think we'll put guns and magnets on it. But for now, it's a pretty old build. Now, I do have a special one to end out on. Well, a bit of two. I'll show you what I mean. Well, we started with this one where I wanted something to, to grab the buildings, to like pincer grab the whole entire building. And, well, the first one didn't work right. So we got grabbing by the building too. And it's, uh, it's made to grab you by the building. Now, it was made before the one of the recent updates that gave us more blocks. So it's not as heavy as I would like it to be, but it's quite heavy. Now we turn on our uh, saws. As usual, you have to have saws. Now I do believe there are 
magnets on here someplace? On one of these? Yeah. See, that's why we need more weight. Because just swinging the arms, you'll see. You'll see. Just swinging the arms is enough to get you off the ground. And that's another problem we have, is that it is very unstable. Just doing this alone is enough to have you fly. And it's meant to grab him right by the building. Now, we'll try a proper test here. Let's open ourselves up. And we'll have our stabilizers here. Now, the stabilizers are meant to keep us on the ground while swinging these big instruments of destruction. Ugh. I wish we could actually freeze the camera and have it lock on you in this position. I would stay like here and it just follow you. That would be nice. All right, so. We'll get a little bit closer here. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. L just a little bit. And it just takes out the whole front of the building. Now, yeah, this... It does seem to... Yeah, it, it, it grabs him by the building. That's that's one thing for sure. It grabs him by the building. Oh, I, I did put magnets on there. The left and right direction pad or well I, I don't know what the PC controls are because I'm using a controller now and it won't change naturally but this seat that one grabbing by the building led to grabbing by the building too and that led to right here there's the, the newest of my creations here the flaming buzz scorpion and it's a scorpion with saw blades and he uh, is on fire. Well, now it's recent, so I don't know the controls, but he does like to raise the roof. And if, if you have any, you know, you want to borrow some money, then he's like, go ahead, I don't mind, borrow money. You know, he's a really nice guy. And he does like to hug people, you know, let's see we have our spinning now i don't know why it doesn't stay straight on when everything is centered and uh the weight is distributed evenly from front to back left to right the spinning is symmetrical but it still bounces to the left as it powers up so i don't understand why it does that so let's uh let's go hug this building I may need to change the controls a bit. And here's the flaming part. Now, as per usual with a lot of builds in this game, yeah, it starts lagging once you tear through buildings. Now it's, uh, here. We'll, we'll spawn fresh here. You know, I wish there was a, a very large test island with like 10 to 12 buildings in a big giant flat area. You know, not just one building. You know, if the dev, from understand it's like one person, if the dev could actually probably do, you know, maybe, maybe do the same test island, but add maybe a, a really big building here and like a tower here on this side you know keep this one here and then maybe a building over there and a building over there like five buildings you know five different examples of buildings and then maybe like a, um, a little small lake with water so we can see what it's like to drive inside water that's not enough to drown the vehicle but enough to you know submerge it halfway so we can play in the water a bit you know so let's give this one more test so and I'm still getting used to the controls. This this thing is very recently created. And it takes a while, you know. Everyone knows who's playing it. 
just to get that angle proper so that the, they don't smash and connect with each other now it first started off with just the pincers and driving through vehicles driving through buildings is it yes okay yes and magnets are now I'm not sure if um if using two or three extra you know um what are these called boosters overkill overdrive sections I don't know if that increases it or if you just have to do multiples in an array or if you can stack them front to back I'm not sure I really can't tell when I destroy something if it's more or less you know being sucked in or not and we just get close really close really close and, and I also will let you know the controls for this is actually really nice Now, of course this 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 can oh well it did it it did it all the magnets yeah <laughs> he just sucked the building down and then expelled it yeah other than that with the destruction now it's a bit slow once once it subsides there we go we're getting our frames back so it's it's pretty stable open armed or closed And, and by it being overpowered, I mean, my, my thing was, uh, I wasn't trying to build the biggest actual creation. I just wanted to build something that was uh, nice, tight, confined, and could do a lot of destruction in a small space. Now, for for my next projects, I'm probably going to see how small I can make something and still make it a, able to destroy a building. Whether it be maybe a small little two or three four leg walker that just shoots or maybe something that has a, just one or two but see it has to be heavy you know and that's 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 where the, the key comes in with making small items and you know instruments of destruction if it's too small and it's just chipping away at the building unless we're losing some glitch or something i don't know but you know that's it for now i'm gonna get out of here hit me up in the, in the comments let me know if you guys want to any of these uh, creations here I haven't actually finished completely you know the, the flame buzz scorpion so but if, 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 if I get enough people asking in the comments that they won't be thought up I'll throw it up on the workshop other than that you guys be good thank you so much for watching it really means a lot to me I will catch you in the next one like subscribe tell all your friends and family you guys be good thanks again for tuning in like and subscribe for the win. Hit the notifications to stay informed when. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys are wonderful. Till the end.